In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter text onto the design page and make some minor changes. I'm on the Home tab. I'm going to click on the Text tool. And from there, I get a drop-down menu with three other text tools. I'm going to click the first one. My cursor has now changed to what looks like an I. I know I'm ready to input text. Click on the design page. There's a dotted line, and that's showing me where my text will be entered. From the keyboard, I'm going to type in my text. And I'm going to press the Enter key to enter it on to the design page. I want to do some changes to the text. So the text is selected. I can tell it's selected because it has these black sizing handles on the corners and in the middle. I'm going to grab the corner one and hold down my left mouse button, drag it so it's larger. And I think I'd like to go ahead and change the font style. I'm on the Attribute tab. I'm going to go over here and click on the drop-down menu to change the font style. And it's showing me how my text will look in that font style. Now if you notice font 18 and 19, they just have these boxes. Well that's because the, this font only has uppercase letters. So as I scroll down, alright, so this one has uppercase letters and numbers, but no lowercase letters. Ah, here we go, font 33 has upper and lowercase and numbers and a symbol. Well, I need to resize it to fit my design page, so I'll just move the uh, cursor and resized it with the black sizing handles. I think I'd like to turn on the outline. While the text is selected, black sizing handles are showing. I'm going to be on the Attribute tab, click on the squiggly line, and that turns on the outline. I'm going to change the fill type from a satin stitch to a fill stitch and make this a lot taller. And I'm looking at it and I said, well, that's still not quite the font I want. While it's still selected, black sizing handles, attribute tab, come over to the text, click on the arrow to the right and choose a different font. So there we go. Oh, how about this? I'm going to change the color. Click on the spool of thread, and now I've changed the color of the text. So there we go. That was entering text and making some minor changes.